a commission under Lord Justice Shaw, so Justice Shaw, and actually the commission was very effective. It demonstrated that the mining licenses that had been provided to the companies were illegal and often undertaken on the basis of corruption with local politicians or also on the basis, as we know, of misleading information provided. So all mining was halted in Goa, which was a tremendous success for the campaign this, of which we're all part. What then happened is that various legal actions took place and that what we were trying to do today um, was to ex ensure that we found out the information about how much uh, profit was made by the company um, once after the period in which the company was declared to be operating illegally, so November 2007. The company in its accounts have only put, put in the accounts about a billion pounds um, funds, not as compensation to be paid, but an allowance, if you like, that may well become, um, they may well become liable to pay. Um, but the, the actual figures that Carmen and others have researched basically say at least, at least this company alone, the cost is 3.687 billion. So in the accounts is about 1 billion, but the reality is what we know from the profits they made, it's most probably 4 billion, but it's around 3.68 that we know of. So today was just a very, in some ways, a very quiet exercise in simply trying to extract from an extracting company the, the exact figures. We, we raised the question, quite a noisy telephone, isn't it? Um, yeah. We raised, we raised the question of the exa in exactly those terms. We weren't expecting to get the answer today, so I'll ask them to write to us. I'll now formally write, as the comments edit paper and all the rest, um, asking the very specific question again. Because once, once we can establish the exact figure, what Carmen and others are campaigning for is a fund to be established okay. for, under the control of the Goan people, paid for by the mining companies who have made all these profits illegally and at the expense of the Goan people and at the expense of the environment of Goa. So that fund then will be paid into by these companies and it will be used then to restore the environment that they've destroyed and also to provide training and employment opportunities in alternatives industries to enable those a long-term sustainable economy for Goa. So today we're simply asking the question, um, we'll now write to them and we'll seek that information. I doubt, if, I doubt if we'll get it in the form that we want, but we're going to pursue them until we do. The other question was just to ask the question about whether or not um, they were one of those companies that gained their license on the basis of misleading information. Um, I, I think the appointment of Albany is, is incredibly clever because I think everyone has realised that as a result of all the campaigns that have gone on, the company's reputation, the reputational damage to the company has been immense. I think he's been brought in, I think he's a very slick operator. He's been brought in not just to attempt to turn around some practices, but also to turn around the public relations image of the company as well. And I agree with what was just been said. He'll either succeed in making some improvements or he won't 